Oh hi there big boys, welcome to my review of Operation Hardcore for Nintendo Switch. A very interesting name. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure why it's called that. I mean, I guess it is about sort of an operation that you would carry out, but I guess Hardcore seems a bit weird. Anyway, so yeah, it's a side-scrolling shooter platformer thing, more focused on the shooting than the platforming. Quite similar to the old style of old shooty games from the past. Can't currently think of any that's very good. Contra, that's the one. Stuff like that. So that's good. Uh, there's not many games like that nowadays. There are also some different gimmicks thrown across as you go along, but it's alright. It's not too bad. Gameplay-wise, it plays pretty good. Uh, there's no D-pad support, which I found for a game like this to be really quite annoying because I wanted to use the D-pad. It just, especially for uh, my Switch, which currently has a dodgy analog stick, I'd much prefer to use a nice D-pad and not have to worry. But well, that's apparently a problem. Yeah, controls well other than that though. You got lots of different options. You can like stay still and like aim wherever you want, or you can like sort of drift, which is quite nice. Different to Switch drift, that is. Yeah, the um. The actual gameplay is pretty good, I find. The graphics are also not too bad. I mean, pixel art, but they're pretty decent pixel art, to be fair. It does the job. And with some nice sort of lighting and particles and stuff. All looks pretty good. Honestly, the game isn't bad at all. And there's a lot of um, different like extra modes and stuff going on. The main problem with the game is the fact that it's only an hour long. So that's really quite short, to be honest. I mean, there's multiple difficult settings and secret areas and stuff. And you can play it in co-op mode and there's also different characters to play as, but... It's only 12 levels, really, so that's, you know, that's not very long at all. So that's something to be aware about, really. Um, I also found something quite annoying in the fact that um, every time you died, you lost some of your upgrades, and you basically had to start again, and it got kind of annoying. Like, you didn't start again from the start, you started again from the, the same level, and uh, that was a bit annoying, like, unless you didn't run out of, like, level ups and stuff like that, I don't know. It just seemed a bit sort of like an ancient level up system, which I just don't really think still um, works these days particularly well. It's also a shop you can get um, which you can get some upgrades, permanent ones, some power-ups and stuff like that. Yeah, honestly it's not a bad game at all. I think it's pretty fun. Just be aware that it's incredibly short and that's kind of a big problem. Yeah. Also some of the uh, power-ups I think are worse than the main gun, which I found a bit strange. Not sure what was going on there. Yeah, also yeah, this is not too bad. Runs pretty good on Switch. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good fun game. Get it on Switch if you like, because it seems to work pretty well for it. But I just wish it was a bit longer, to be honest, because even even that seemed too short for a game. Like I'm not I'm normally one to enjoy short games, but this still felt too short. So yeah, that be, that be aware of that. But yeah, I've definitely played worse, and you can play it on Switch and also other places if you like. So thanks for watching, big boys. It's a point in time, and bye.